I love being awkward. This also a revolution. That's Josh Eppert on the drums. Hey, everybody. That's Jake Sloan. My name is Fred. And this is Andy Jackson. Now, Andy has had a rough week, uh, or possibly a rough month, but not that you're not in the best mood all the time. This is the most positive guy I know, but uh, has no voice right now. And uh, that's why I was singing a lot of the, I was singing a lot of his parts on that one. He's, he owes me big time, by the way. <laughs> no, but, uh... I just want you to know, next time you see us, he will be singing like a canary. I'll be rocking next time. Hell yeah. But, uh, we're gonna do our best. 
Josh uh, Everett, are you gonna sing? Did you sing on that one? Yeah, Andy didn't sing. Is he uh, is he turned up loud? He should well, be like twice as loud as me. Off the mic is that she? Anyway, um, <laughs> our record is self-titled. It's called Terrible. We are terrible things, obviously, but um, it's a concept record about um, my hometown and the troubles it's had. And uh, so I brought a song, an old song that some of my old friends will know. Uh, and uh, but we revamped it, um, telling the story of moving back to Coatesville, Pennsylvania. It's called Lullaby. <laughs>
Thank you. So, uh, are there any students here at all? Did you start school yet? This week. This week? Next week. Next week. Anybody start school? Tomorrow? Tomorrow? Are you excited or no? <laughs> You're not. Damn it. I, uh, I was on vacation uh, last week and it was terrible. Um, when I get home from this, I'm going to need a recovery vacation from the vacation. And, uh, but I can tell you those horror stories now or later. Great, right, you got to tell them what happened. Oh my God, that's the second pick I dropped in my guitar. <laughs> I know. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, which? Uh, well, my vacation in included a flat tire uh, at a really bad time. Um, it's never convenient, though. Uh, fire engines coming to the beach house while I was sleeping, um, <laughs> and uh, uh, I was the only one home. It was terrible. But then. Finally, on the last day, after many of these things happening, I was like, this is the last day. I'm going to the beach all day, and then tonight we're going to this Chinese restaurant that I love, and we're going to you know, have one great day of vacation all shoved into one day. And I went to the Chinese food store uh, restaurant, and uh, <laughs> sorry, no sleep this week. And we... Uh, and I, we ordered our drinks, and it took like 10 minutes to come out. I was starting to get busy in the store, and the woman uh, came back with the drinks all flustered, and then came back more flustered to get our food order. And then she was like, uh, well, I had seen her once before, so she, she kind of recognized me. Do I look? <laughs> I'm looking at him behind you. All right. Well, I think I have, like, sucker written across my face because <laughs> of what happened. It's because you're such a nice guy. That's so, why, right? Well, I was making nice conversation. Anyway, she comes out. And she's all flushed. She's like, I'm sorry. Can you can you do me a favor? I'll explain later. And I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. And I start to get up I'm thinking, oh, maybe she needs something moved in the kitchen or something, you know. Just, just one woman running the whole place from what I could tell. And she's like... Uh, no, no, stay here. I'll bring it to you. And I'll bring what to me? And so she's, uh, she's like, I was like, yeah, well, what is it, though? And she's like, well, I just, um, my husband's in the back cooking, and it's really getting busy, and we can't keep up, and we need to make these deliveries. He usually does it. And, and I'm like, and this is like Ocean City, New Jersey, like on a Friday night, like crazy traffic and all this. So I, I'm... <laughs> I'm not moving my car out of the spot that I got, but she's like, oh no, no, it's, it's really close. It's, it's, it's a hotel right down here and then one other one. And, and <laughs> at this point in the story when I was telling Josh, he's like, wow, that's the craziest story I ever heard. And then he didn't realize, what he didn't realize was I said, I, okay, I guess I'll go. So, <laughs> He couldn't believe I actually did it. So, so she brings out two big, huge bags of Chinese food and the twenty dollars in change. I've never been a delivery person. I've worked a lot of really bad jobs, work even worse, way worse than that actually. But anyway, so I, anyway, it winds up being like six blocks away. It's ninety degrees out, just like today, and I have to walk because I'm not moving my car. So I'm running like six blocks with Chinese food in my hands and. <laughs> And the first place I, I'm thinking, and all I'm thinking is she's busy, so they're getting their food late. They're going to be pissed. I'm going to have to explain, like, I'm not even the delivery guy. And I go in, but the first one goes pretty smooth. I get a $2 tip. I'm pretty psyched. <laughs> so the next one, I'm like, I'm going to go in there like a real delivery person and, and embrace this whole thing. And I go in, and it was really, it was, well, anyway, I charmed the guy, and I got a $10 tip. And I was like, yes, and she's probably not going to make me pay for my meal anyway, so I'm making out on this. Yeah, yeah it, the meal wasn't free. But I got back, I was all sweaty. I was there with, like, my parents and stuff, and it was all, like, supposed to be a nice dinner, and I was running deliveries around the vacation land, so. Anyway, 
I need a vacation if anyone has a house I could go to. Because the other, you know, I kind of wasted the other opportunity. So, uh, this song. Uh, <laughs> what song are we doing? I can't I'm remember. To back you up, are you bro. the hype man? Which one? No, we're gonna do hills. Oh, I gotta tune. I should have been tuning that whole time. <laughs> That's all right, Fred. This is kind this of called. Cool, man. It was called a segue. Anyway. This song's called Hills of Birmingham. I wrote it for Andy Jackson and Jake because they're both from Alabama. are awesome thank you
Andy, man, I miss your pretty voice. I miss it too. <laughs> awesome. Andy is an amazing singer. You guys know that, I'm sure, but or else you wouldn't be here. But <laughs> um, yeah, when, uh, we'll be back through here with a band called May uh, in the fall in October, and uh, I'll be back. Andy will be raging. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit in the corner and do little guitar solos. And let you sing. Anyway, uh, this one's called uh, Conspiracy Song. And it's a totally not true story. Un unlike most of our songs, this one was made up uh, from Josh's head because I stole the song from him. I've been living in conspiracy. <laughs> have one more actually is it just my song I thought we've been here been here I've oh, been here before oh we do have two more that's cool thank you hey Fred thinks I should tell the rest of the fire engine story I was I was really really tired we were just off tour and and I got a little boys he's six and this little guy right here 
Yeah, actually. And uh, he was he has a little blanket. It's his best friend. It's called Body Blanket. And uh, it's his little, what do you call it, a binky? It's a bank, no, a binky. binky. Security yeah. blanket? Security blanket. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Anyway, uh, I was so tired that he was like, He's not allowed to use it during the day, so he puts it up out of reach. And he was like, Dad, Daddy, I want to put it up here because, you know, he didn't have a usual place at the beach house. And it was like a halogen lamp that was, and I was just like, yeah, that's good. And I went to sleep and he went to the beach. And uh, and so so I was sleeping and the, and the light wasn't on, but I guess it covered the, anyway, Someone turned the switch on and I didn't know. So anyway, uh, that's the end of the story, really. I went to sleep, I wake up, fire, there's fire alarms going off, I'm running around, I can smell something but I can't find it. After like 10 minutes, I'm like, I gotta call somebody. So I called 911, they came, and my wife comes running up from the beach and she's like, what's going on? Whatever you get, get Scout's blanket. He can't live without it. And I was like, that's okay. I, I didn't see it in there though. I don't know where it is. I, I would have grabbed it. And uh, yeah, and then the fireman comes walking down with like melted body blanket. <laughs> Whoa. And it was the saddest day I've had in years. So anyway, poor guy. Um, then you can't really get him a new one because that, you know, their, his soul is connected to that thing. So. It's really sad. Anyway, uh, this song's about the soul, and it's kind of a sad song, so. Well timed, well timed, Andy. Thank you guys for coming out, it's awesome. I also wanted to say that, um, you know, obviously we're not normally an acoustic band now, I don't know how many of you have heard any of the songs, but we're really excited about this record and all these songs. And uh, like that last song as we were playing, I was picturing all the crazy noises on the record. And uh, um, definitely check it out if you can, because um, it's our, some of our, I think our best work ever. So this song's called Been Here Before. <laughs> Silence kills We're pretending But you're remembering How it used to feel You've been here before I can see it on your face You've been here before And nobody's gonna take his place
I'll do one. Is it cool if I do one more with you guys? I, I, and I also forgot to mention that the one thing that I was hearing on Conspiracy, especially, is my man's voice. We got this really nice double vocal thing going on, and uh... Hey man, I tried my best. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, there's actually an unlisted, uh, like, hidden track on the record, and uh, that's uh, this little ditty here called Can't Be True, and it's actually the only acoustic song on the record, so I uh, hope you dig it. This is our last one. <coughs> I can't be true.